Hi guys! Do you want to learn how to do the Kim Kardashian sultry smoky eye? Then make sure you subscribe to the Glamour channel and keep watching! I'm Candy Johnson. As a makeup artist and YouTube beauty expert, there's nothing I love more than a good makeup transformation. You're watching Beauty Recovered Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian loves a smoky eye and she's never made it look sexier than on the cover of Glamour. For this look, I started off by applying a primer all over my face. This is going to even out the skin tone and give an extra perfected look. I'm taking my foundation and applying it all over the face with my damp sponge. I took a foundation a couple shades darker than the first one I applied all over. I'm applying it to the sides of the face and the jawline. This is going to give a little bit of dimension to the face that just makes it look amazing. The key to any Kim Kardashian look is a lot of highlighting under the eyes, down the sides of the nose as well. I'm also drawing concealer and highlighter down the center of the nose and underneath the lower lip. This is going to make the lower lip look fuller and going to make my nose look a little more like Kim Kardashian's. You always want to place highlighter underneath the brow bone and right above the eyebrow. This is another Kim K essential. A little trick that Marilyn Monroe used to love to do was you angle contour underneath the sides of your nose in a V shape. This shortens the nose and Marilyn believed it made it look shorter. Kim Kardashian also seems to love this trick as well. Now it's time for the Kim Kardashian contour. This is defined by shading on the sides of the temples, forehead, at the hairline, down the sides of the face, around the cheekbones, and down underneath the jawline. I'm just contouring under the jawline and going down onto the neck. If you contour on your face, you have to make sure that your neck matches. Now you want to make sure you set all that contouring you just did with your powder. Make sure that you push it into the skin. Never drag or wipe the powder or you'll just smear off all that foundation and contour work that you just worked so hard to achieve. I'm going in with an angled blush brush and a matte contouring powder. Again, just go over the areas where you applied the contour cream. I know this seems like a lot of makeup and a lot of contouring steps, but to achieve the perfect Kim Kardashian look, these are all the steps that it takes. Now I'm applying a cream highlighter to the top of the cheekbones and down the center of the nose. And like I always say, everything with the cream has to be finished with a powder on top. So I'm going back in with a powder highlighter, tapping it right on top where I just applied the cream. Now for the glow on the cheeks, I'm just applying a beautiful pink cheek stain. I'm locking it in place with a powder blush in the same color. This is going to give a lot of impact and make sure it lasts all day long. I'm applying a nude shimmer champagne or pearl color eyeshadow to the inner corner of the eyes and underneath the highest arch of the eyebrow. I'm taking a soft to medium brown and applying it right at the crease and moving it upwards towards the eyebrow. Take the same soft brown and go from the outer crease of the lower lid and blend it up towards the center. Small little circles always helps with blending and the key to a smoky eye is blend, blend and when you think you're done, blend some more. I'm applying a nude lip liner to the waterline of my lower eye. You may think you wouldn't want to apply a lip liner there, but it's actually the same formulation, they just don't call it a nude eyeliner. I'm applying a soft smoky brown with a hint of a shimmer to the lower eye. This is where the sultry smoky part comes in. Anytime you smudge a smoky or any eyeshadow underneath the eye, sultriness ensues. I'm taking a deeper brown and applying it right into the crease. Smudge it and blend it out toward the outward edges of the lower part of your eyebrow. I'm adding a deeper smoky brown shimmer underneath the eye. The good thing about a smoky eye is you can always keep blending and adding hints of different deeper shades above. Now it's time to fill in the brows. I'm just taking a cream brow color and a stiff angled brush and shaping the eyes in a beautiful perfected arch just like Kim Kardashian's. I'm taking the lightest, shimmeriest nude shadow that I have and placing it right on the center to inner corner of the eye. This is going to add a glow to this smoky, sultry eye. Now it's time to curl those lashes. Apply the primer base. I'm applying my favorite nylon fibers right after the primer and right before we layer on our mascara. It makes a world of difference. One of the keys to Kim Kardashian's lashes are making sure that you go from root to tip. Pull the mascara wand towards your nose and up all around the eyelashes. This gives that very open, wide-eyed look that Kim Kardashian achieves with her mascara. And a must for the Kim Kardashian smoky eye is some big false lashes. 
Always make sure after you apply your lash glue that you wait 15 to 30 seconds till it's perfectly tacky so when you place it on the lashes, it sticks right away without slipping around and smudging glue all over your eyelid. A key to using false lashes is sometimes a full strip can be very intimidating. I just like to use Demi Wispies. Those go from the outer corner to about the mid part of the eye. They're much easier to put on and they look way more natural. Since my lips aren't nearly as full as Kim K's, I'm applying a lip plumper to my lower and upper lip. This is truly suffering for your beauty. I can't tell you how painful this lip plumper was. Now I'm lining the lips in a plum rose lip liner. A little bit out of the natural lip line, right below the center of the bottom and at the outer corners of the upper lip. It gives a pinched and puckered look that makes your lip look very full. And because I just couldn't get enough, I'm adding a little more lip plumper. Since I don't have extensions, I needed some major wig hair help. Beauty Recovered, make sure that you subscribe to the Glamour video channel and you can send a tweet at Glamour Mag. And if you want to see what I do and come hang out with me on my channel, you can go to at Candy Johnson. Make sure you subscribe to us both. <laughs>